Welcome one and all to the one and only Radio Ratanga. They say that the baobab doesn't grow from its four stones. Indeed, my friends, the elderly help the younger grow, and they guide them through life. And we can't easily hide our problems from our parents and friends, as the truth always comes out. We cannot hide an elephant under leaves. We must trust our close family and friends. We should confide and rely on them in tough times. Penda and Imade, do you think the panther is afraid of the spots on his mother's skin? Not at all. To survive, it is important to listen to our close ones. Friends of Ratanga and Eswe, there we go. Penda, you look beautiful. Are you enjoying your new home? Absolutely. I am very happy to be here. If you want, I can show you around the house. It's a bit like my home. I can be your guide. Let's go. I wanted to visit my mother anyway. Are you telling me you have time for that right now? <sighs> and I wanted to know about the museum. There are people working here. And you should also do the same thing. Right away, doctor. Here you go. Thank you. Good morning. I'm looking for Kosa. Penda, I'm in a hurry. I've got another consultation. I was so worried about you, so I dropped by to check on you. You came back late last night. Don't worry about me. Everything is fine. Anything else? Yes, yesterday evening I had severe stomach pains and it wasn't the first time. Ouch! Ouch! Easy. Ouch. Easy. Ouch. Easy. Ouch. Ouch. Move, you can see I'm busy. Show me exactly where it hurts. Mm. She's been having pain in mm. her lower back. Don't mm. worry, please. She's mm. a good aunt. It's like that every month, and it keeps on getting worse. She just turned tisting, and she never had a period. It's probably oh. late puberty, nothing to worry about. She has breasts and a woman's body. At the opening of the lips, there's a fine membrane that closes the vagina. Uh, is she okay? Uh, 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 uh. Listen, ma'am, even with the full chest and pubic hair, menstruation may likely come earlier or later, or probably at 17 years old. That's terrible. She will not get a husband if she doesn't have a period. You say I believe it's an imperforate hymen, which is an anatomical anomaly, which means the first period has stuck in the vagina and can cause severe abdominal pain. And it's a hematocopus. We need to operate it again. Oh, no. Kosa, your diagnosis is perhaps a little premature. We must do an ultrasound of the suprapubic area and the pelvic MRI to confirm. But I'm confident. We need to admit her immediately. Go inform Dr. Mulai. <sighs> Penda, what are you doing? Did you hear? Are you okay, Penda? Are you okay, Tala? Yes, I'm fine.
Tala! I'm finally seeing you. What is going through that mind of yours, my son? Why don't you come home anymore? Mother! Mom, what? Oh. Are you thinking about your mom when you take off like that? Where are you staying? Did you find a new woman that keeps you away from home and your mom? Leave me alone, I have to go work. You ungrateful brat! Oh my God! Where is my son? The one I gave back to. Shame on you for hurting your mother. Tala? I'm sorry. I really need your son. It's an emergency. Oh. Medical emergency? But then how can I help? You are the emergency, Tala. You can't let your mother insult you like that. Have you talked to Made? Did you take my advice? It's of no use, John Paul. She no longer wants to see me. You see, it's simple. It's all put together. The statement, the list of the credentials. You have to focus on this, Emadi. What's happening? Thanks for helping out. But it is no use now. I don't think I will get the job. Don't say things like that, Emadi. You have already made great progress in training. But I heard that the city hall officer is a friend of Rokoba. And I'm sure that she already convinced him that he shouldn't give me the job. I doubt it. You don't know my mother-in-law. She's very evil. I know she would do anything in her power to bankrupt me, to force me to go back with the children and live with her, wicked woman. You know what? You should go to the city hall officer and convince her that you deserve this job. You should take back control of your life, Emadi. Don't let people like Rokoba get in your way of what you want. You are actually right. You bet I am, absolutely. Don't you think I can speak for myself? Yes. I will go there and then fight for the job. That's it. Do you know you are an angel? I don't know how to thank you. But I will find a way. Yes, I know what to do. What I will just do is... I could help you here at the library during my free time. What do you think? Stop talking that nonsense. Use your free time to take care of your children, spend time with them and study. Okay? And I will always be there if you need any help. Listen, Emadi. You really mean a lot to me. <laughs> you too. You are a true friend, you know. We are really good friends. And that is what I want us to be. Yes, very good friends. The ultrasound and MR confirm hematrochopause. And we can exclude any other associated erogenital uh, malformation. We must operate. Bravo, Kosa. Thanks to your diagnosis, this girl will avoid infection, which could compromise her fertility. I hope you understand. I was right. All thanks to you, doctor. You allowed me to stay at the center, and it's helped me focus on my work. I'm 200% now. All thanks to you, doctor. Well, it's a pity that none of my colleagues are in the same state of mind. Because some are really overworked. We will discuss this issue at the executive staff meeting today. Excuse me, is it possible uh, to prevent hematoclopus? Well, it's a rare infection, but if the gentle are carefully examined at the beds, we can locate the malformations and imperforate hymens. You should really insist that the midwives perform this exam at beds. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking, doctor. It would be good to talk about the menstrual circles, more often at the family planning and also on your radio show, right? Yes, <laughs> it crossed my mind. So? It's getting worse. He can't deal with not seeing his children and he believes that Imade will never talk to him again. It's true that she jumps every time I mention her last name. She worries me. She's under stress. She's overworked. She needs her husband's support. I'm worried too. He started drinking. 
sleeps in the closet so that he doesn't have to go home. Can you imagine the answer to Rokuba for everything every day? We can't sit and watch. We have to do something and very quickly. Hello? Nemade, I need you to come to the shop first before you go to Ramatus. Are you sure my children are okay? No, no, don't worry. I just need your help to do something and it won't stay too long. Okay. Bye. Emade, what are you doing here? I am visiting my friend who works here. Do you know her by any chance? Yes, you do. Of course you do, silly me. You already met her at the library. Severally, you should know that we're very close and agree in almost everything. Hmm. Please come in. Good morning. Morning. I scheduled an appointment. Have a seat. I know, but I'm not too sure why you're here. I know you lack training, but I thought you could come here and speak for yourself. That is the reason why I'm here. I came here because I want to take control of my life and I'm a hardworking woman. I have experience from the library and also I am studying at the moment. So I will do everything it takes to study hard and make sure I obtain a diploma that can land me this post. I know I am capable and I gave myself all the chances. I do a part-time job in a hair salon so I can finance my studies. I would work full-time if I could, but I'm a single mother with three kids and I have to take care of all of them. Hmm. Oh. I struggle every day. You said you fend for yourself? Yes, but I have my friend's support. Hmm. I thank you very much for listening to me. It was really important for me to show my motivation today. <laughs> Prove to me that you are capable to go all the way and I will guarantee you that the job is yours. If you get the diploma, of course. I ran into Penda several times today. She didn't look well at all. Is everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. Any concern? Because I need to know. Um, she mentioned abdominal pain this morning, but I had to rush down there. I had to deal with the patients. I want to go and serve you are worried, please, because I'm going to handle this meeting. Thank you, it will be fine. I want to follow the Amatokopo's case. Okay, as you wish. Uh, thank you all for coming, and today's agenda is going to be on Amatokopo's. That is just it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my darling. Bad I'm so end. happy to see you. <laughs> mm -hmm. How are you? Please come over here. It's very important. But what is happening? We are here because the situation is very serious. We want to talk about Tala. I said I don't want to hear about him anymore. He's not doing well in my day. You can't give up on him now. And what about me? It's hard on me too. So you can understand what is going through. Why should I help him out anyway, when he's not even there for me? Excuse me, please. Ramatu is waiting for me. Imade, Tala is in danger. I caught him drinking. And so, there will be consequences. Kosa has found it very hard to rely on him anymore. Imagine, he left Rokoba's place for the census closet. What? I didn't know. Listen, I know that it's not easy. But Tala is in visiting his children. You are both suffering, and the children too. Abu wants his dad when you are not around. Badian, I fear that Rokoba is the one pressurizing Tala so that they can make sure they take the children away from me. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Tala would never do that. He loves you, and he means no harm. Hey, you can trust me. I will never let Rokoba take your children away. He's unhappy he can't see you and the children. It's okay then. He can come and visit the children. Good. <laughs> I must go back to the center. I need to tell Tala the good news. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Um, do you know where I can find Tala? I have, in the garden. He's sitting next to his broom. He didn't look too well. Wait, I'm looking for my mother. Do you know where she is? I saw her with Dr. Malai. Is the anesthetist ready? Oh, yes. So is the patient. Ah. Benda, is everything okay? Are you going to the theater? Is it the young girl from this morning? Yes, but what about your pain? Are you feeling better? I feel much better. Don't worry about me. Are you sure, my sweetheart? Yes, yes, yes. Go on. The children need to see their father. Badia and Jean Paul convinced me. And my dad and Tala are getting back together. And my dad and Tala are getting back together. And my dad and Tala are getting back together. <laughs> How are you, Rachel? <laughs> oh, it's Julian. He's been talking about his career ever since. Tapo wrote about him. And he spends all this time with Tapo. And a group of young girls. Apparently, the girls are his fans. And then, I really see him these days. Don't worry, my friend. It's just temporary. Julian loves you and doesn't care about those girls. Well, he will soon realize that he's not a celebrity. And he will come back. I'm not sure. We are not as close. I need to run. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Make yourselves at home, ladies. Thank you. I'll be right back. Give me a minute. Rachel is having some issues. She's not talking about it, but I think that... I think that college boys are harassing her. Hmm? She told Maga when she was at the Cairo Association. Huh? Mm-hmm. You are done. Shampooing and nourishing treatment, ladies. Rachel is having issues. What is the matter, Painda? It's nothing. You can tell me. It will stay between us. Promise. Is the young girl I saw the other time going to die? No. Is that the reason why you were crying earlier? Yes, well, no. Now you can tell me what is wrong. You were very upset earlier and you still her. You had the diagnosis for the little girl. So what is carrying you? I have the same symptoms. I think I need surgery. I am 14 and I haven't menstruated yet. I often have abdominal pains. Have you told your mother about it? I, I tried, but I didn't find time to explain. We never have time, actually. <sighs> I see. It's not unusual that mom doesn't find time for me. She has her own issues dealing with that. Mom has a lot of work. I think she's doing her best. Listen, I think you worry too much for nothing, eh? You are still young and it's probably a late puberty, nothing to worry about. It could also be due to stress. You just moved to a new place, you need to take it easy. And change of environment can be stressful. You are worried about your mom, I think you should try to talk to her. It's important to share your feelings with your close ones. And I'm sure Kosa will be able to advise you accordingly, okay? That's right, she could help me, she knows so much. Yes. I'm sorry you had to leave the center's apartment because of us, Ramatu. But mom told me you were staying with your family now. I don't have any family. I only have Yaye. That's right. <laughs> I stayed at the hair salon for a while. But I'm sorted now. I am actually staying at Dr. Molai's at the moment. Oh, we didn't make it easy for you, I know. I wish I were you. You're still here and running your own business. You live with 
awesome to Tomlae, every girl's dream man. With good intentions, huh? Ha! <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, madam. Yes, we completed the minor surgery and a small incision to enlarge the hymen. And now the blood held in the vagina was released. Everything. Everything went well, madam, because your daughter needs to rest right now. And the surgical outcomes are favorable, madam. Oh, yes, I'm sure she'll be able to menstruate now. Oh, thank you. She will be so relieved. She thought she wasn't normal. I have to go right now, madam. I will leave it to Kosa. Thank you so much for taking care of my daughter. Do you have children? A 14 years old daughter. She is fortunate to have a midwife as a mother. No, I wouldn't say that's fortunate. With you by her side, it must be easier to deal with the changes happening in her body. Is that so? My daughter hasn't menstruated yet. Are you okay? You have been quiet today. Are you sick? Ramatu, when you first had your period, did you know how it would be? Tell me. Yeah, you explained everything to me. Did you discuss everything with her? Yes. She told me about puberty and sexuality. Without her, I would have been lost when I first had my period. It's true that we can tell anything to Yayi. Me? She really helped me with my first pregnancy. Nobody told me about the changes that will occur in my body. I wish I could talk about these things with my mother. But it is not easy. At least you know that menstruation exists. Me, I had no idea. Imagine my panic when I saw I was bleeding. Me, I thought I was dying at that moment. It was no joke. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, Ramatu. Your hair salon is beautiful. I will advertise for you, okay? <laughs> So, my daughter, <laughs> it's been a long time since it was just the two of us. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Mother, I think I'm having my period. A gift. I want a mother to do her air cuts. I will take care of it. No, not you. I only want a mother. I am a customer, and you have to do what I say. There's no problem. I'll take care of it. Daddy, Daddy! Mm, my baby girl. <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> Good evening. Abu, come with us. Let us play. <laughs> Take my hand and don't forget the door. Good girl. I really appreciate you for letting me visit because I miss the children very much. Tala, do you want us to be a family again? Of course, a day. Of course. Then you must pull yourself together and win my heart once again because you really let us down of late. But a day, it's my mom's fault. She brought in the other woman. Don't you understand? Oh, please stop hiding behind your mother. The problem is that you did nothing about it. I, I, I have. I don't want her any longer. Imadi, I never touched her. I just want her out of our house. I just want her to leave our house, please. But you're a coward. Because you did nothing to send her back to the village. Hey, Imade, my mother just wants to keep her. That's just it. She already spent the dowry's money, Imade. Aha! 
There's no point discussing this with you. You because you won't believe me anyway. Tala, if you ever leave now, I promise you that you'll never see us again. Neither the kids nor me. Imadi, I don't want to lose you. I would do anything for us to be together again, Imadi. I promise you. Imadi, I really love you so much. I won't leave you again. <laughs>